is Google Analytics still the best tool that you can use on your website in 2018? Well, let's find out. Hey there, and welcome back to another video of measureschool.com, teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and today we wanna to talk about Google Analytics and if it's still the best analytics tool out there that you can use for your website tracking in 2018. Now, it's definitely very popular. I actually use it religiously, and I have many clients running on Google Analytics, but there are certain circumstances where I would recommend a different tool. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this number one analytics tool out there? Let's dive into some of the pro and cons. So the number one pro that everybody can think of when they think of Google Analytics is that it's free. Now Google Analytics came out with a free version after I bought a company called Urchin and made that data, that website data available to their advertisers of AdWords so they can make better decisions on changing around their website and convert more people and spend more money on advertising. But the tool was really powerful already at the beginning so it widely spread all over the world and is now one of the most used analytics systems out there for website tracking. That obviously brings a lot of perks to the system. It is gathering a lot of data. It has huge support out there. So if you have any question, you can go into one of the forums and find out what you can do about your problem. And since it's connected to AdWords and that is Google's money maker still, they actually invest into the tool on a continuous basis. So there are always new features coming out, which is also great. But on the con side, the free model is not the holy grail and that's what Google actually also discovered and they brought out a paid version of Google Analytics in their marketing suite, Google 360. You can pay everything from $20,000 a month upwards to actually get better and more data into your analytics system, but also the other systems that they have out there and really get better data here. So up to a certain level, Google Analytics is free, but once you get more sophisticated, especially the sampling issue that you have in the free version is pretty annoying, then you might need to think about different systems that are out there. And Google Analytics is just one of many paid systems that you can install on your website and get clickstream data from. Now on the pro side, it is pretty feature rich. Now you need to think that the system Urchin was actually a paid product before and then Google brought it out, continuously evolved it. So it has a lot, a lot of features that you can implement and customize in your Google Analytics installation. And that's a good thing, right? Well, only kind of. Because on the con side, Google Analytics gives you a very strict model on how to look at the data. Now this is mainly based on their model of page view data. So uh, when we think back 10 years, analytics and websites were not that complex and therefore Google Analytics built on that model of page views and sessions and users and they calculate a lot through that. I brought in, in a lot of problems as well because we had a lot of privacy issues, we have different features that we should be able to track and to use but we can't connect that to data. The data is stored in the US so it's under US privacy laws. That's what the Europeans don't really like and that's why we can't send any personal identifiable information into Google Analytics which is not really suited to our business model. So yes, Google Analytics has a lot of features but maybe you are better off with a different tool that gives you more specialized data that can connect to your business model better and give you better data and more meaningful data for your business. And it's maybe possible to build into Google Analytics, but not the best way to look at that data later on. So be aware of these limitations once you start customizing your installation. Which brings us to our next point, the plus side, Google Analytics is customizable. So it's not just out of the box, although you can use it out of the box and just track page views, which is not worth much anymore, but you can customize a lot. So from event tracking to actually sending user IDs or custom dimensions, custom metrics, you can really spice up your tracking and transfer the requirements of your business model to this tool as well. Now on the con side here, again, we have more specialized tools that might be able to track your business better. In that sense, we might have different business models with mobile apps or gaming that might be suited for a different tool a little bit better. Or if you need to have very deep insights about your customer's behavior because they log into your system, maybe Google Analytics is not the right tool because it makes it really hard to connect that data back and forth with um, personal identifiable information because you're not allowed 
to send that in. So different other tools like a mix panel or a Kismetrix have a different model in the background. They're more specialized on these different customizations that you can do on the tool. So keep that in mind once you try to transfer your business model to your tracking model and try to input that into Google Analytics and customize it. And last but not least, the connections. Now on the plus side, Google Analytics is well connected. We get information automatically from AdWords. We can send it to Google Data Studio. Uh, we have Google Tag Manager available. So well connected tool. Also on the third party front, we have different other tools like Supermetrics that let us pull the data right into Google Sheets or different plugins on the WordPress site that let us install Google Analytics really easily. It's wildly used and therefore it has very many connections out there to actually pull data in, pull data out and connect Google Analytics to different systems. But on the negative side, we actually don't get access to the raw data. Now in essence, Google Analytics just takes up our data and puts it into a bucket of page views. And that data is very valuable if you wanted to connect it to different other tools or wanted to do deeper analysis on this raw data. But Google Analytics by default, at least in the free version, doesn't give us this data. So other systems might be more useful in that sense. If you think about a snowplow analytics that lets you build your own data servers. And when it comes to privacy reasons, obviously you also want to keep your data on your own servers. And that's simply something that Google Analytics doesn't give you once you have the free version of Google Analytics. So in conclusion, is Google Analytics still the tool that you should be using in 2018 for your website tracking? Now, it depends. In the end, if you are heavily into customization and really want to have a business impact with your analytics, then you probably have the manpower and the team and the resources out there to actually search for a better solution, Google Analytics out there. If you're not yet at that stage where you really want to make an impact with your analytics and just need standard tracking data to optimize your marketing campaigns, then Google Analytics is still one of the tools out there that is well supported, that is free, and that gives you standardized data that a lot of the marketers out there understand. So I would still install it on our website, but also look out for other tools that make may make my analytics implementation a bit more customizable. So if I think about heat map tracking, video tracking, or simply data that you can send to different other marketing tools so I can make it really actionable, that might be, for example, Facebook analytics and the Facebook pixel, then I really want to stress that you don't just have to use Google Analytics. It gives you some base tracking data, but see what other questions, what other data you can get from other analytic systems. Maybe try them out and put them onto your website as well. And that's already it with this week's video. If you have any questions about this or if anything was missing, or if you see any kind of new advantages or cons that I have missed, then I'd love to hear from you. Please leave that in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, then consider subscribing to our channel right over there because we're bringing you a new video just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.